So just to show how committed we are here on day eight of our eating challenge, we're eating off of dinner plates in the car. While we're driving. While we're driving to the <laughs> hospital. I'm not eating while I'm driving. I no, promise. he's only eating at stoplights. Only eating at stoplights. <laughs> um, my aunt is in the hospital and we're going to the ER, but we slept in this morning and five minutes after I woke up, I found out. So we showered real quick and cooked eggs really fast and heated up the sweet potatoes from yesterday. And we're eating what we are supposed to while we drive to the hospital so that we will not be late. So it would have been very easy to throw in the towel and just pick up fast food breakfast or not eat because we weren't really hungry yet and then end up being in the situation where later you're absolutely starving to death. So we're getting gas now and he's gonna scarf his food. <laughs> um, but so yeah, we just wanted to share uh, what happened for breakfast today and we will be back later. Hey everybody, so today I believe is day nine, although we're kind of losing track right now. Um, you last heard from us breakfast yesterday morning when we were eating uh, our eggs and sweet potatoes in the car. Um, we're eating breakfast in the car again today, which is a smoothie. It's not what's supposed to be for breakfast today, but uh, we ended up being at the hospital all day yesterday with my aunt and my family. Um, unfortunately, she's really not doing well and it's looking like there may not be any recovery. Um, but we did our very best to try to stay on track. We couldn't stay on our specific meal plan, but um, we did our best to not like go off track. So yesterday we went to Subway for lunch and got a salad, but that was just awful. Never get a salad at Subway. No, it was pretty disgusting, but at least we, um, you know, ate something that was good to eat. Um, and then for dinner last night, we went to Applebee's because we got out of the hospital at, like almost nine. Um, we went to Applebee's and I had a burger with no bun, no cheese, um, and some veggies on the side. And you had uh, chicken and shrimp. Chicken and shrimp with veggies too, it's right? Too much, yeah. So you know, we tried to be really healthy and as close to clean as possible. Um, I could tell there was butter on the vegetables, and we haven't been eating butter, so I don't know if that's allowed or not. But we did a hell of a lot better than we could have if we had just decided, you know. It's been a crappy day, let's just go eat whatever we want, but we did not do that. And uh, one of the interesting things was we actually didn't want to. Like, you know, if you're looking yeah. for excuses, you'll find them. If you like want to eat whatever, then you will. But we're feeling good now, starting to get to that point where you can feel pretty good because the crap's out of your system. And we didn't actually like want to mess that up. So that was nice. Um, today we really don't have much of a plan. Um, but we just went back to one of the smoothie recipes that we had um, on day four that we liked and we had the ingredients on hand. So we went ahead and did that for breakfast. Um, we saw a Chick-fil-A near the hospital, um, which of course yesterday was Sunday so we couldn't go, but today it will be open. And so we're thinking that we will um, either do a salad there for lunch or they also have grilled chicken stuff or whatever. So we'll probably go there for lunch and we'll have to play it by ear if we're at the hospital longer than that today. But um, we're basically waiting around to talk to some doctors and see if um, if another lady that needs to be involved in the case can make it by today. So it's been uh, it's been a tough couple of days here, um, but we're hanging in there on our food plan as best we can. And no matter what the circumstances, really, you can make it work if you want to, because. We've managed to do that despite some pretty horrendous circumstances so just wanted to put that out there you know and we did have our cheat the other day when we had a little bit of Mexican food but I think one of the key things is that you save your cheats for the things that you really really want instead of for circumstances you know yes. instead of like having it be oh well it's a busy day or someone's in the hospital or whatever and just eat whatever you want you know it it's a lot better when it's stuff that you really want so um, that's all for now I don't know if we'll be adding to the video today or not depending on how today goes but um, we'll, we'll see what happens later so